it's pitch black outside and we are stopping right here overnight. <laughs> it was kind of a scary day today. <laughs> mountain it's freezing cold because he has a goal and it's to watch some wild animals especially a wild lynx he knows what he's looking for <laughs> so he's creating everything Where we wanted to arrive at these huge cliffs. It's pitch black outside. <laughs> Can't see anything. We arrived where we decided to stop overnight, and it's only the two of us uh, tonight. So we came here because, as you saw previously, <laughs> my husband wants to do, uh, catch and watch some wild animals. So the lynx, I don't know, still don't know the name, it's kind of a wild cat. Now we're gonna cook. So we need the table. have more light we've just uh, switched on the laser lights that we have on the back of the car it's like really bright white LED lights but like that we can see everything that we're doing Today it was the most scariest experience I've ever had on road with our Land Rover Defender. We had three times death wobble. First time driving on the highway as usual, regular speed, just after a huge traffic jam and the, the car started to wobble a lot and I never experienced this so I grabbed just in front of me and I was holding really hard just in front of me and I was really scared. He knew what to do because it wasn't the first time for him. <laughs> so he lowered the speed, the car just came back to normal, stopped wobbling and we were able to just continue driving on the highway. A few kilometers afterwards it started to wobble even worse it was way worse than the first time really a lot of wobble this huge noise and it was scary as hell and this time he had to stop uh, we stopped on the side on the highway and this time with the car completely stopped we saw that the steering wheel wasn't straight anymore when the wheels were straight it was on the side so he said oh it might be the steering rod there's a problem under there so luckily we were just before an exit so we got out of the highway 
found a spot where we could stop quite flat and he went under the car and yes the steering rod was completely untightened so there you go we have a complete set of tools always in our Land Rover Defender and because of that we were able to get us out of this bad situation he took the tools just um, gone under there and tightened up the steering rod managed to also put back the steering wheel straight with the wheels straight and off we go again on the highway again a few kilometers afterwards while driving at a regular speed a third steering wobble started started again we got at, out of the highway after this third death wobble and he got again under the car and saw that the track rod was untightened this time and voila now we don't know how it will be tomorrow when driving back home and this is a bit scary because this means that we might have uh, an issue and this one could be really dangerous so I'm crossing fingers that it won't happen tomorrow. Tell me what you think, what could be the cause of this death wobble? We've used 16% of the auxiliary battery uh, with our soup, cooking our soup and all the lights on and the fridge on. <laughs> Tu penses qu'il est encore en vie? After our delicious soup, we will now prepare the sleeping layout for our night free camping without the kids as we do have the mattress in the pop-up roof for the lower bed we will still need to pull it out and put it on the lower uh, the second bed like this we will be comfortable on the mattress of the pop-up roof only or maybe no it has no, I was going to say maybe we could try and sleep on top of this second mattress but in fact it has a weird uh, form because of the fridge in our lower sleeping setup. I'm going to show you how we're going to open this pop-up roof, the most easiest part and this is so awesome. With our setup and the four sleep inside of the Defender, we always need to move what we have in the trunk or on the back seats, move in on the front seats or on the floor here at the back so that we can fold those back seats. They are folded now like this. We have a flat second bed. Super easy to set up even if we were the four of us tonight. So yeah. this is really nice. I'm not talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's time for us to just yeah. chill a bit inside and get ready to go to bed. So I'll see you tomorrow morning. Good night. Good morning. 
getting ready to get out and it's raining outside so I don't know what are the plans for today what are the plans for today trying to get back home without dying on the highway say something huh c'est quoi le plan yes yes okay <laughs> Yes, it is. Yes, it is. While I'm packing up my sleeping bag and putting back the car properly, the interior of the car, my husband is underneath the car while mm. it's raining. <laughs> 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 Voila! I'm missing my glasses again. Voila, so mattress of the lower bed is back up there. Mattress of the pop-up roof. And now we have to, I have to bring the stuff that we have on the front seats here at the back. And we will be ready to go. My husband was under there before and checked everything. There was some... Uh, screws that will loosen up or some kind of problem for this uh, regarding this de death wobble and he didn't find anything special so it's kind of annoying in a way and in a way it's a good news but there uh, we'll see uh, on the highway afterwards but I think now after we have packed up everything properly and ready to go back on the road we can go for coffee. This is the stressful part. We checked everything, or everything seems to be tightened properly, all the rods and tires too. So we're gonna go on the highway and see how it goes. Very scary. Luckily it didn't happen again this death wobble but there was uh, some vibrations still on the steering wheel but he thinks it's because of our old winter tires. Everything is good? Yeah, seems okay. We arrived safely in Geneva and I'm glad to say the death wobble didn't happen at all today and I'm glad it didn't because I was really stressed <laughs> for this back home journey of 
Crossing fingers, it won't happen at any time we take the car and drive on the highway. Of course, you will be updated if this happens again. And we will have to think about what really caused this issue this time. And obviously, your thoughts are welcome in the comments down below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.